guys and thank you for your inquiry on this stunning blue 2015 uh, Toyota Yaris Ascent. Now I'll run you through some of the features outside the vehicle and inside um, and really tell you why this is the right vehicle for you. Now starting over at the front you do have that new um, look that Toyota is going for with the front of their vehicles. Very sharp, very sleek. Um, you do of course have your Toyota logo right in the centre there um, with your big black uh, grille down the bottom there. Now the front of the vehicle does present in really good condition, um, no stone chips that I can point out to you at all. Now you do have your very large headlights in this model there, um, just off to the side of course, um, giving you heaps of visibility when you are driving at night and your indicator is built into that as well. Coming around to our first wheel on the driver's side here, um, you will see you do have the hubcap on the wheel, um, heaps of tread on the tyre and that wheel is in incredible condition. Now your indicator is integrated into your side fender there, um, so just to give everyone around you an idea of whether you're hoping to merge or anything like that. And you have your colour matched uh, side mirror and door handle as well. And one thing I love is this little window here, <coughs> gives you heaps more visibility on the road as well. Looking down the driver's side, um, the paintwork is in really good condition, there is just some very minor scratching along the door handle here, um, but nothing inconsistent with the age of the vehicle. Coming down to our second alloy wheel here, again same as the first, sorry, hubcapped wheel there, same as the first one, excellent condition on the wheel and heaps of tread on the tyre. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, um, still you will notice you have your Toyota badging and your Yaris badging as well, um, along with your high mount stop light on the top there, uh, rear windscreen washer and wiper as well. Opening up the back, there is just a button underneath the chrome. And you'll see we do have a reversing camera in there as well, um, just to help you when you are parking the vehicle. In the back of the vehicle, um, we do have the rear parcel shelf. Um, so just to keep anything that you do store in the back um, nice and safe from anyone that might be trying to peep in. Um, you do have your genuine floor mats as well. And then another little storage area just underneath there. And underneath that, you have your space saver spare wheel as well. Now popping that one back down and closing that back up. Nice and easy there. Coming around to the passenger side of the vehicle, um, one thing just to take note of is that your uh, fuel filler cap is on your passenger side there, um, being the safe side of the car. Um, and again, looking at the paintwork of the vehicle, excellent condition on this side. Now coming around to our uh, last alloy wheel here, again not to be unexpected that there is a bit of marking on this wheel being as it is the hardest for the driver to see, um, but again great uh, tread on that tyre there too. So what we'll do now is we'll pop over in the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Looking at the engine of the Yaris now, we're looking at a 4 cylinder 1.3 litre petrol engine and the vehicle itself is a 4 speed automatic as well. Uh, on the safety side of things, you've got a five-star ANCAP safety rating with a total of seven airbags throughout. Um, this engine will produce 63 kilowatts of power and 121 newton metres of torque. On the fuel side of things, you've got a 42 litre capacity tank um, using roughly 6.3 litres per 100 kilometres, giving you an average of 667 kilometres to the tank. But of course, that will vary depending on how, how many people you have in the car um, or how you drive as well. Inside the Yaris now and starting on our driver's side door, we've got all four of our power window controls with our driver's side being automatic up and down. Just above that, we've got our central locking and our window lock as well. So if anyone in the back is getting a bit annoying playing with the window, you can just lock them out as well. Just looking through, we have all of our um, power mirror controls here as well. On our right hand stalk, we've got our indicators left and right and then all of our um, headlight controls. Now we do have automatic headlights in this model so you can just flick it to auto and let the car do all the work for you. On our uh, left hand stalk as well, we just have all of our wiper controls for front and rear. On the steering wheel itself, we've got all of our Bluetooth uh, answer and reject, and then we've got all of our infotainment controls. So your volume, your seeking and your mode. And then as Toyota always has, you have your cruise control settings on another little stalk just down the bottom here as well. Moving into our centre screen, I'll just pop the car into reverse quickly, show you the clarity on that reversing camera. Um, and you do have the uh, reddish pink line just to show you uh, when you should be stopping as well. Now back into park, um, 
On the audio side of things, we do have CD player, um, AM, FM radio, Bluetooth audio, um, USB and AUX as well. So that's just your radio display there. Um, just next to that, we've got our hazards button, all of our hard con buttons to control uh, what we are seeing in our center screen. And then we have all of our um, single zone heating and cooling controls as well. Just below, we do have our USB and AUX input. And then we have a 12 volt socket as well. Just below that, a little storage area, two cup holders, automatic shifter as well. Um, and then another little couple of little storage areas, um, hard handbrake, traction control on and off button, another cup holder and another little storage area as well. So I'll just let my camera person pan around a bit, show you um, the beautiful condition of the interior of the vehicle. Um, and then we'll jump outside and wrap up the video. Guys, so that wraps up our walk around video on this stunning blue Toyota Yaris. Now this car does qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan that we do offer. It is an additional cost, um, but it does work nicely into your finance payments if you are looking to finance the vehicle. Um, what the plan does give you is five years up to 200,000 kilometres of coverage, over 181 components within the car, and 10 years of platinum roadside assistance as well. If you'd like to hear more about that plan, or this car, or book this car in for a test drive, please give us a call on 9907 Just a couple more things before I go. Well, um, we do off offer uh, different products to help protect the beautiful car as well. Help keep that beautiful blue colour as it is and the like the day it drove out uh, of the showroom. Um, and while you are online, have a look at our Google reviews as well. So we're holding a 4.8 star rating um, currently on Google with over 850 reviews as well. Um, so yeah, that gives you a bit of clarity that you are dealing with the right people as well. So once again, that number is 9907 555.